What's going on guys? Welcome to the top 5 run through week number 1. Of course, thank you very much for continuing to check out my content on YouTube. I'm going to be doing a weekly mini show, mini episode kind of thing where I focus on the top 5 things here in the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm community. This can be player pickups, this can be people leaving teams, this can be people retiring, this can be some just amazing news that I want to tell you guys, the YouTube viewers and anybody out there that's interested in StarCraft 2, whether you're from Reddit, whether you're from YouTube, or of course whether you're from Team Liquid. And uh, let's, I guess let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So we're going to jump with number 5 in this top 5 rundown. We have this thing right here, Pizza Papa John's, tier 1 to tier 10. What, what the hell's going on? What is this? Well. This is actually some very, very cool um, initiative that went on by Papa John's a few weeks ago. They were interested in esports. They like esports, but Papa John's wants to make money. They were interested in, uh, I guess, kind of just getting a few uh, community figures in the StarCraft 2, Dota 2, and just esports community in general. People like DJ Wheat, people like the Muslim, like In Control, like Huck, a lot of EGs, and of course you have Yurut Gaming Brothers over here in the top right corner. So Papa John's is kind of you know, is it worth it to to invest money into esports? Is it not worth it? Are we actually going to get some sort of a return back if we kind of go out and, and support this kind of a thing? And you know what? Uh, in my opinion, guys, this is some some pretty good stuff because we went from tier one to tier ten in like five six days. So, you nerds out there, you guys have bought some pizza, and I'm happy about that. So. This can, uh, this can possibly be some big news if Papa John's actually gets interested in esports. Maybe they can sponsor EG, maybe they sponsor a team like Liquid, or even, um, you know, a team like Root Gaming. Of course, the tier 10 is, uh, or excuse me, the tier system has basically kind of, you know, different kinds of prizing. You have, like, show matches, you have a pizza eating contest, which happened about a week ago. So this is definitely some really, really cool stuff, and hopefully um, other mainstream sponsors, maybe more pizza shops, maybe more things, just non-hardware accessory or esports related can really invest their money and time into esports which is going to be huge i guarantee you guys the more we stick with this the more we pr produce you know some kind of content or something for esports the bigger it's going to get so that's uh, some pretty good news that's going to come in as number five now number four is going to be this thing right here where we have the asus republic of gamers tournament it has been announced it's going to be happening august 1st through August 3rd, it will be happening in Finland. 32 players, price pool will be $25,000. Of course, how do you qualify for this? What do you do to get into it? Well, there's there's two different ways. You can be invited if you're a pro, if you're a player that has pretty good results in recent European, Korean, or um, uh, United States tournaments, or you can just qualify straight up. There's gonna be a qualifier time that is probably in the spread or should be announced pretty soon. Practice, guys. Get out there, play some games, get comfortable with all your matchups, and possibly start to um, to qualify yourself for this kind of a tournament. Now, the thing that's very exciting about this is the casters. They have been announced as well. Invites have not been announced yet. Just take note. That's going to be announced probably in the near future here. But look at this caster lineup. We have Thomas Caldor Killian and Greg Idra Fields. Idra, of course, leaving Evil Geniuses, focusing a little bit more on becoming more of a personality in the StarCraft 2 community, which is very, very exciting. I've honestly been a fan of Idra for a very long time, so we'll definitely see what he can do. Um, he's a very good analytical caster. Of course, Kaldor has a lot of experience. Casted GSL, casted DreamHacks, casted a bunch, a bunch of things. So, pretty good tournament. Glad there's a lot of uh, StarCraft 2 content coming here in uh, in StarCraft 2. Just more and more stuff, man. That's what we want. And something I want to go over a little bit is the prize distribution. There's actually a good amount of money being put in this tournament. First place, $10,000. Second place, you get $5,000. Third to fourth, you get yourself $3,000. And fifth to eight, you get yourself $1,000. Now, what is the next thing that we're going to be talking about? What is the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, guys? It is actually going to be some pretty big news. This is easily the most hyped up thing right now in the StarCraft 2 community. Everyone is talking about this. Everyone is excited about this. It's going to be happening this weekend. That's right. It is the Code S WCS Korea Grand Finals. That was a hard time, man. I was like taking deep breaths and trying to say words that I couldn't say. But it's going to be Solki against Innovation. Solki, a Zerg player from Wunjing Stars. Of course, Innovation from STX Soul. Both players are Kespa players so this is going to be an epic finals innovation is the guy that's like 
everyone's talking about him. If there were replays out there, this guy would be studied to the T. Of course, there's VODs, but replays make everything so much more easier. And he's arguably the best player in the world now. And the guy who's playing against him is going to be Solki, who is, in my opinion, one of the top three Zergs right now in StarCraft 2 in the world. Solki is very, very aggressive. He can play macro as well. But playing against a guy like Innovation, you definitely want to have your shit prepared. Straight up, man. You need to know what Innovation's capable of doing. This guy has amazing multitasking, amazing mechanics. The medevac Superman speed is something he loves to use in the late game and just an overall solid, solid player. So this is going to be a best of seven, I believe. Hopefully it's not going to be a 4-1. Hopefully it's not going to be something like a 4-2. I'm really, really hoping for a 4-3 uh, finals here between both these players. Of course, this is going to be happening June 1st. 2013 will be casted on GOM TV as well as twitch.tv slash WCS underscore GSL. Of course, commentary will be done by Artosis and Tasteless. Now, going into our next thing, coming in as number two in the top five run through is going to be this news. Mouse Sports picking up Vortex and Lucifron. And I'm actually really, really excited for these two players. Vortex is very, very good. A lot of people have a little bit of a misunderstanding in the community. Is he a patch zerg? Is he legit good? Does he just make infestors and take wins? Or is he actually really, really good? And I've actually casted quite a good amount of games of Vortex. And I have to say, he's definitely a very, very, very good European, I guess, slash Spanish zerg player. Um, and his brother, of course, Lucifron, easily one of the top five Terrans right now in Europe. You guys can easily compare him to players like Happy and uh, players like Cass, and of course, a bunch of other players like Braddock and uh, the Muslim. If you guys still want to count him as a, as a European Terran, so this is some big, big freaking news. I'm a little bit sad though because Karanta Esports StarCraft 2 division is done. So these two players joining up with Maus. Maus kind of a little bit on the downfall. Not really too sure what they were going to do in StarCraft 2. Losing a lot of players, a lot of people getting picked up, as well as a bunch of people just starting to retire and go back to school. So the final lineup for the players is going to be the German Dennis Hasuobs, German again, Gabriel Hero Marine, the Swede Dan Hope, who is an underrated Zerg player in my opinion, and the USA, the only lone USA player here is Chris Illusion, and uh, the Spaniards, man. We have Pedro Lucifron, Juan Vortex, and of course Mana to go ahead and finalize that European lineup. So pretty sick news, very, very excited. I'm really uh, kind of hoping that they do very, very well in upcoming team leagues. And uh, anything else that's, uh, that's StarCraft 2 related. Now this next thing is pretty damn big. This was literally announced maybe like eight hours ago or something. I was probably in the bed snoring or, or something because I woke up and there was a Reddit threat, there was a Team Liquid threat. This was blowing up all over the internet. So what am I talking about? Talking about this thing right here, MLG Anaheim is happening, ladies and gentlemen. 128 player open tournament. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be epic, an open bracket for MLG. So many players were complaining. Why is there no open bracket? What do we do with USA players that have talent? They're just laddering for no reason. Of course you have the WCS, but there's nothing else that you can really do. There's no open bracket system they can really get into. So. MLG Anaheim is definitely going to be happening. Of course, the dates for that is going to be June 28th through June 30th. I will be there. Make sure you guys practice. Make sure you get your ladder on. Make sure you get your VOD studying because these are going to be some, uh, some big, big opportunities for any upcoming players to get themselves an opportunity to get into group stages and possibly win themselves something from the $25,000 as the whole prize pool. So that's going to conclude it for this week, the top five run through hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, make sure you subscribe to my youtube and make sure you continue to check out my content this is going to be happening every single week i will be bringing you the top five important things in my opinion that are happening in the starcraft 2 community so with that being said stay safe good luck and have fun